In the 25 years Crimson Trace has been mounting lasers on and in firearms, it's not news to you that they're a great solution to sighting quickly in an emergency. This is the newest laser option, an internal mount in the new M&P Shield 2.0. Well, what may be news is how much a laser can help improve your shooting technique. Smith & Wesson Pro Julie Golub is about to show us how. Lasers are not only great tools for personal protection, they can also help you to shoot better. First and foremost, you want to look for a laser that's easy to activate. The laser on this M&P shield is ambidextrous, meaning I can hit it with my trigger finger or my support side thumb. Lasers are also great in low or no light conditions and from shooting in unusual positions as well. But they're also a great way to diagnose any errors in your shooting and that's what we'll be talking about in today's pro tip. The key is you want the laser to be your guide. You want to hold it on the center of the target as steady as possible. Now, as you squeeze the trigger and the shot breaks, you can begin to diagnose any errors. If it flips up, I'm anticipating the shot. If I see it yank down low, that's when I know that I have a trigger problem or a flinch problem. By diagnosing on target and trying to keep that laser nice and steady, you can help solve the problem. When you fire a shot, the laser will move, and that's fine as long as the laser is on target as the shot breaks and it matches your point of impact. One final benefit of lasers is that they're also a teaching tool to keep both eyes open. A lot of shooters will close one eye, squint while they're shooting, and that's not the best way to focus on the target. With lasers, you're gonna have that red dot centered on your target, and you keep both eyes open because they're captivated by what's going on in front. That's definitely a benefit. Great for personal protection, great for a training tool. Lasers are really something you should check out. Until next time, be safe and have fun.